Fetal therapy is a really unique specialty because we have multiple patients. We have a mom and we have a baby or multiple babies. So we always have to ask ourselves, how does this treatment affect the baby and how does it affect the mom? And we never put the mom's life at risk. We uh, diagnose identical twins in the first trimester. So somewhere around that six, eight, 10 week range on an early ultrasound. And at that visit, we talk to patients about the risks of having identical twins and how we're gonna do surveillance and screening for those. The most common kind of twins are non identical twins or fraternal twins. I call them teenagers in the same house. They don't share anything. They each have their own placenta and their own bag of water. Twin to twin transfusion doesn't affect that type of twins because they each have their own placenta. The second most common type of twins are identical twins or monochorionic twins. They're twins that share a placenta. And in real simple terms, twin to twin transfusion is when those twins don't share equally. They have vascular connections or blood vessels that are connected within the placenta. And sometimes one twin can take more nutrition and more blood flow than the other twin. That is essentially twin to twin transfusion. When the twin to twin transfusion syndrome develops, what happens is that one twin called the recipient will make a lot of urine and therefore in, in, the, in the gestational sac of this twin there will be a lot of amniotic fluid that we define polyhydramnios whereas in the co-twin called the donor that uh, usually does not make much urine there will be oligohydramnios which means uh, Mm, just uh, a little bit of amniotic fluid. When we start to see twins that are not sharing their blood flow equally, it can affect both babies. One baby gets very large and one baby gets small, and we can actually have evidence of heart failure for both babies and can have long-term repercussions from that. So what we want to watch is to see if this is something that is getting worse. If it ultimately progresses and gets worse, then we think we need to separate those vascular connections in the placenta between the two babies to prevent them from sharing unequally. The standard gold standard treatment, hallmark treatment for twin to twin transfusion is laser ablation of the vascular connections. So we put a camera inside the uterus and look at the placenta and identify those vascular connections and separate them with a laser fiber. With the laser, they are ablated in such a way that at the end of this procedure, the, the placenta is divided into two parts which are independent. Laser therapy in skilled hands is a very effective treatment for twin to twin, depending on what stage of twin to twin you are for both babies. After a successful laser procedure, when the vascular connections are separated, all of those cardiac changes and the heart failure that we see for those twins often reverse and improve. The uterus is a phenomenal healing environment and the goal is to keep people pregnant for as long as possible because that is the best place for babies to improve. Laser therapy for twin to twin transfusion is not something that's done everywhere. There are only a few centers in the country that do uh, treatment for twin to twin transfusion syndrome and we are very privileged here to have the ability to provide that care. We have experience and we know what when we deal with the TTTS, what we think that is probably the best uh, to do for a patient, and uh, also we give all the options uh, available. UH has been the first center in northeast of Ohio uh, doing uh, the laser for twin to transfusion syndrome. Anytime a patient is referred to us, obviously these babies are sick, and you know that, um, and so there's that fear of you know, what is happening to the pregnancy that I thought I was going to have, what is happening to this baby, um, and I think the most important thing is transparency. Um, you know, we have a lot of things that we can do. You have access to our team. We have two dedicated coordinators, 24-7 um, access. It is a lot of visits with us. It is a lot of monitoring. But we, Dr. Mari, Dr. Eggsdale, always tells our patients, once you come in, once we meet you, we are a team. We want what you want. We want the best for both mom and baby. Um, and we are going to do what it takes to get you there.